Austin, Boss Product Specialist, and I'm going to show you the low frequency oscillator section in the SY300. Um, so to start, uh, uh, an LFO, or a low frequency oscillator, is a special type of oscillator that works off of low frequencies. It's pretty obvious. Um, the, uh, and, this is, and because that LFOs work off of a low frequency, uh, we can set them uh, to basically uh, set a repetitive change in parameters. Um, typically this is set for controls for pitch, filter, or amplitude. So to kind of go over what that does, let's hit the synth effects button, go into the first oscillator here, and scroll down to LFO, hit enter. And we have all these fancy little controls here. Um, in order for the LFO to affect any one of those three sections, we have to turn up the depths on, the, on those sections. So let's turn up the pitch depth so we can get a little bit of a vibrato feel. Again, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a change or a modulation sweep in pitch, as you can hear right now. Notice it's shifting up and down in pitch which is pretty cool. So now that we have engaged our LFO, or our LFO is now working on something, now let's start changing the waveform to change uh, the tonal characteristic of that LFO. So first wave is a sine wave. So the sine wave is gonna be a very organic and very classic type of an LFO sound, as you just heard before. It moves very smoothly, it's in an S shape. Um, the next wave we have to edit up is a, uh, is a saw up, uh, or basically half of a saw wave, or just the rising of a saw wave. And uh, when this is turned on, uh, basically this is going to create a whooping sound um, for adding to pitch envelope depth. So here it is, just saw up. <laughs> And because of the characteristic of the wave shape is determining how that LFO is reacting. And it's also based upon playing dynamics as well. Notice the different two different sounds that were made when I played it harder or softer. Um, so that's one of the waveforms. The next waveform is going to be saw down. This is going to be the opposite of saw up. And uh, when added to uh, pitch slope modulation, um, this will give you kind of a, a boo-boo effect or a, uh, or a laser effect. So here it goes. So that's that sound or that waveform and how it reacts. Um, the triangle wave, this is also a popular yet classic um, uh, to synth styles like that. Um, this is also going to be a very natural and very organic modulation movement. So here's how it sounds this way. So that's how that reacts. Um, the next section or the next waveform we have here is called a square wave. Um, and because of the nature and the shape of a square wave, because it's so squared off, it has radical ups and downs. Um, so this is going to give you uh, a very sporadic uh, two differences between two values. So, and the uh, LFO rate will change how fast or how slow they're actually moving. Um, so this is useful for a pitch modulation envelope, which is pretty cool, which is what we're doing now. Um, so here's what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, so that's what it sounds like at a slow and a faster rate here. Uh, the next waveform we have to edit is called random. And what random does uh, is this will randomly slide uh, the effect between uh, two different parameters. This will slide randomly from value to value. Um, so uh, when adding it to uh, the pitch envelope depth, which is what we're doing now, this will basically create a slip and slide effect, as you can kind of hear right now.
Okay, so that's the randomized waveform. And then the next waveform is called sample and hold. And what this will do is it will do something similar to random, um, but this shift's very unexpectedly determined by tempo. And again, you can use MIDI in order to determine your tempo on the SY300. And uh, when applied uh, to the uh, amplitude, uh, it gives a jittery type of vibe. So why don't I go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn down the pitch depth and I'm going to turn up the amplifier low frequency oscillator depth here and it'll give a jittery effect. <laughs> Notice the jittery effect uh, increased as I gave it more depth and as I also sped up the low frequency oscillator rate. Um, so that goes over the individual waveforms we have here. Um, some of the controls I have that I was kind of using, um, one was the uh, low frequency uh, oscillator one rate. This will determine the speed of the movement of the modulation. Uh, the next tier, which is the LFO depth. Uh, this adjusts uh, between a very subtle and a very per and a very pronounced sound. So when you have it off, it's very uh, as a very very subtle sound. So let me turn down the depth there, and um, and kind of play that for you. So if I turn it on, it'll give a more pronounced effect. And once again, because we turned up the amplifier, uh, the amplitude depth here on the low frequency oscillator, we're now affecting volume. Uh, if we want to do that to pitch, we just bring that down and we can bring up the pitch and then we'll shift between pitch. <laughs> So once again, pretty, pretty cool little thing there. Um, one other part of the parameters here, as I was kind of going over before, the, the depth controls here will basically bring up the emphasis of that section. So the LFO pitch depth, if I want to affect pitch using the low frequency oscillator, I turn up the pitch depth. If I want to have the low frequency oscillator affect my filter, I turn up the filter depth. This will create a sweeping effect. Um, as I can demonstrate right now, if I turn on a low pass filter here in my filter section, go back into the LFO, and I turn up the filter depth, and just like this, it'll create a sweeping form. And now I'm using a low pass filter for it. I can bring down that, I can bring down the depth so it can be a little bit slower. Pretty cool little effect. Um, and then the next couple of controls we have here is the LFO fade time. And uh, this will only work if the dynamic depth control is on. And this specifies the maximum and minimum of the LFO amplitude that it reaches. So if I turn this up and I go back into here and I affect the amplitude section now by turning up the amplitude depth, the LFO fade time will sound like this. Notice it's slower and faster and rise and fall as I turn up the fade time. And as you turn into the other pages, you get to the second low frequency oscillator in which you can basically control multiple different parameters at the same time using two low frequency oscillators. Again, there's two low frequency oscillators or LFOs in each section or in each oscillator of the SY300. And this gives you unlimited and unprecedented uh, tonal parameter controls and possibilities using uh, the LFO section in the SY300. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel for further updates on any of the Roland Emboss gear. Uh, again, my name is Austin, the Boss Product Specialist, and I uh, hope this was good for you. Thanks a lot guys, peace out. <laughs>